that's the smartest thing to do is you've got to throw your best arm against the team that wins on on Tuesday. It's just that simple. And so we'll see who that is and, and who we decide to go with. Well, a new format during the Sunbelt Baseball Tournament throwing a bit of a curve into how Matt Diggs will prepare this week. He won't decide his starting pitcher for Wednesday's game against Texas State until he who until he knows who wins the game between the Bobcats and Appalachian State tomorrow. Now, this year's Sunbelt Tournament begins with a group stage. That is what's going on here before the four winners of those groups advance to a four-team tournament. The pools are just three teams, so yes, all three could go one and one, but a team that wins two is in. That makes playing a team who already won a game doubly important for the Cajuns. The tiebreak is done by the seeding, which is a big win for Louisiana, who has number one beside his name. The Cajuns finished the end of the year with three straight series victories. After a mid-season hiccup, Louisiana appears back on track. As resilient of a team as we are, I think, you know, a rough patch is going to affect anybody. Um, you know, I feel really good about how we've played. I think it's all about getting hot at the right time, obviously. The best record isn't isn't going to win the World Series if you're in the bigs or win the College World Series. You know, it's, it's uh, who gets hot at the right time. Here are the Cajuns' two pool games Wednesday. Louisiana plays Texas State. The Bobcats took two of three during the regular season. And then on Thursday, Louisiana plays App State. Those two did not meet during the regular season. The best record in this three-team pool advances to the 14 playoff.